Hi, I'm on Vancouver Island on the west coast of Canada in the heart of Coast Salish territory. Excuse me, can you help me out? Yeah, sure, what happened? My friends thought it would be funny if they bared me and watched me drown. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, let me help you out. Hey, wait a minute. Is this a traditional thing? Are you a bad guy? Yeah, I'm a bad guy. I'm being punished in my own traditional way. Hey, look, I can't mess with tradition. I'm not supposed to interfere. I almost had ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. You, you're a kid. <laughs> Anyways, look, um, I, I gotta go. Uh, you take care. Now, where was I? You are just about to introduce your show. Oh, that's right. Thanks. Welcome to Fish Out of Water. I'm Don Kelly. And I'm what you call an urban native, a city-raised, office-bound Ojibwe. But I can't help hearing a call, a call from my elders telling me it's time to rediscover the old ways and get back to the land. Hello? 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 Hello and welcome to Fish Out of Water. I'm Don Kelly, and this week I'm floundering around Vancouver Island with the Coast Salish people, specifically the Sycam First Nation. Because when I told them I wanted to visit, they said, yeah, you can hang out a bit, but you got to clean up after yourself. And I figured, hey, I can do that. I'm relatively clean, so here I am. Now, first order of business is to meet my Coast Salish guy, Jason. Jason, hey, Don. thanks for having me in your territory. Whereabouts are we right now? Uh, right now we're at the south end of Vancouver Island uh, on a beach 20 minutes from Victoria, BC. Okay, because this is one of the biggest lakes I've ever seen right here. Don, it's an ocean. It is. Pacific that, Ocean. That is the you know, There is no lake. Is this uh, Sycam territory I'm in right now? Salish territory. Salish territory? No. no. Sycam, there's uh, 10,000 um, tribes made up the Coast Salish people and we're just one of them. We're cool here, though. Yeah, we're, I'm cool. You have yeah. the best. Well, you're cool. You got, yeah, the, best. Yeah. You got the best. That's why. Before I came here, someone referred to this as the land of clay. Have you heard that? That's what Sycam means, land of clay. Sycam means yeah, land of clay. You'll find in Sycam there'll be a lot of clay. If I was going to be a traditional Sycam, a proud Coast Salish Nation member, what are the sort of skills I'd need to know? Uh, you would you'd need to learn to steer kayaks, um, uh, 30-foot canoe, um, cook salmon, cook salmon, dig clowns was oh, a clowns. part of our lifestyle. That's Seafood, right. that's a healthy diet. That's right. You can teach me some of these I things or you can hook me you. up with the people? We will get this fish back in the water. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Off we go. All right, Don, I'd like to take you on a, a boat ride of your lifetime. Excellent, man. There's so many cool boats here. Which one is it? I'll show you. I was hoping for a neater boat. Shut up and grab a life jacket. Far now. You said that like 20 minutes ago. A few more minutes. It's like traveling with my dad. Just keep pedaling, son. I've kayaked on the lake. What's some of the uh, things you got to watch for when you're on the ocean? On the ocean, there's boats. There's uh, there's currents. You uh, you see the big waves <laughs> open. You gotta Whoa. you gotta face the wave. Face the you wave. You never go side to side with a wave. How come? The fish will be back in the water, Don. <laughs> Where he belongs, I yeah. say. <laughs> this is called Little Shell Island. Little Shell Island. Yeah. Some islands were lookout points, some were just camped on. The islands were used for summer homes for collecting of the shellfish and salmon fishing. They had summer homes way back a thousand years yeah, ago. Yeah, that's right. That's great. Did they use kayaks? Not a long time ago. They just had the, the dugout fishing boats carved from the cedar. The people were pretty smart and uh, had knowledge of the tides and the currents. They used the currents to pull them along. Do you know Silk and Lauman? What? <laughs> Do you know Silk and Lauman? No, I don't. This is a family show, Don. <laughs> hey, Jason, it's raining and my hair's getting wet. Are we going to be out much longer? OK, pretty boy, let's head her back in. OK. I'm just going to uh, get a little ambience going here. Up next on Fish Out of Water, a natural way to deal with depression. You don't have to even you don't have to make a tea or you grind don't have to make a tea or anything. Hello, 
I'm Don Kelly, you're watching Fish Out of Water, and we are delving into the world of the Coast Salish people. And you know what? You picked a great moment to be watching, because I'm about to experience 30 feet of fun. Told you it was 30 feet. What's uh, Jason up to, Eric? Right now he's loading the canoe, and this is a really important part of the, uh, the safety aspect of the tours. What, do you, what, what, what are you looking for when you load her up? Well, we want to have the balance equal on both sides and also portion it to the front and the back of the canoe. All right, I am balanced. Okay, push away and paddles in. What's the person up front doing? What's the... She's, she's in the middle and she's in a princess seat. She has the paddle, she's not paddling, so we always hold the paddle upright. Does it matter which way you're holding it? Yeah, our, our design that represents us has to face forward because that identifies who we are and that we're coming in peace. Was there always a princess up front? There's always, that's the princess seat. Now you can tell these, these guys have been in the canoe before because the, all the paddles are in sync and all at the same time. So did the uh, Coast Salish have canoe songs? Uh, yes, they did. Whoa! It's ironic we stop paddling during the paddling song. We are ironic people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK, I think we've been out here for a while. You think you got it? You feel like skipping? No, I don't think I got it. But yes, I will try to skip it. Crew, are you ready? If you're ready, say, heck yeah. Heck, heck yeah. yeah. With more enthusiasm, heck yeah. Heck, heck yeah. yeah. OK, you're fading. Paddles in. <laughs> wow. I can feel the force of this crew. <laughs> Boy, it's strength, but it's all delicate work, isn't it? Yeah. You overturn, so you, you put it right in. Yeah, I'm finding a uh, zigzag line is uh, <laughs> the most efficient way to get us back there. Well, he knows how to do a circle, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the scenic tours, you guys. <laughs> Forward. Don't splash the princess. Nice work, crew. If you think your skipper Don did okay, give me a heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, that was a big two percent. Yeah. yeah. An extra, an extra tip for the two boys up front there that did the yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> Jason, I'm on a roll, baby. What's next? You'll be meeting a lady named Della who really knows plants. Oh, I know I like plants. Yeah. Della, I want to thank you for uh, bringing me here. Whereabouts are we? We're at the Lillian Hoffer Park in Sydney on southern Vancouver Island. What can you show me in here? What will we be looking for? I'm looking for anything that's green. <laughs> anything? Well, <laughs> you've come to the right place, I think. <clears throat> All right. Now, what, what was that you just did, I have to ask? I, I just get really, really full from talking because I, I, I love plants. That's my tobacco, right? I, that's my offering. I do other stuff, but when I do this, I'm passionate about it, right? Okay. Ah, letting everything here, let the environment know that we are coming and what we're, we're doing. And we're doing this for a reason, right? Because you want to learn something. I do. Look, look, Don, look. Well, you can try it if you like. Is it safe, yeah, though? Yeah, it's safe. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's safe. <laughs> it's tart. <laughs> it's very tart. 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 <laughs> but it's not always tart. It gets to be smooth after that. It looks like a blueberry. Yeah, it does. It looks it's a wild Oregon grape. Wild Oregon grape. Yeah. That's what that is. Okay. We are in the wild. Like this is a giant liver detoxifier. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I should probably have a few more. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not too often that you run into this ring. Okay. Where the tree's still alive, and after they've cut it down and the trees come up like that, it's like a wishing well. <laughs> yeah? Go like this and feel it. It felt warm. It's filling your hands. You don't find it too often at all. It's special. See, feel. And what is this? Well, they're sword fern. They're sword, called, they're okay, sword okay. fern. You can tell they're a kind of fern, but okay, sword yeah. fern. Yeah. This takes the pain. It takes the pain for people that are bedridden, for people that are really sore and so in pain. You would lay that down? Yeah, you can lay that. You can lay the top part down for, for on the bed, or you can do the bottom part in the bath to make a bath. 
Okay. That's tansy. Smell the leaves. Tansy, this is Dawn. <laughs> Check them out. <laughs> Well, that's, that's I pretty, don't know how to describe that. That's, that's pretty potent. It's almost perfumey, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. And it's good for fevers. <laughs> Look at this. This little tiny Beautiful. horse tail, and but this is mint beside it. All of this stuff is mint. The white and the pink? Yeah, and yeah. The, smell them. You squeeze them a bit, eh? Yeah. Oh, and it, yeah. And it's really that's pungent. Strong. It's really nice. Like, like mint is like good for the tummy. This is the tea that you drink <laughs> after you have chili. Okay, so this is, we had the after dinner mint long before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go close. ahead. No, yeah, close, but let it come from the bottom. <laughs> Very good. You. I'm impressed. You can hear me in the shower. <laughs> Very good. These guys are great for depression. What They're they? great for depression. Like, you know, you just come and hang out by the maple tree. You don't have to even You don't have to do nothing. You, know, you don't have to make around. a tea or anything. All you have to do outside is, is go hang out under a tree. You don't have to do nothing to it. Just be happy. <laughs> we give thanks to the grandfathers and the grandmothers for this day, for this land, for these, the environment. And for you, Don, for being so interested. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Della, for being so interested. <laughs> This is a good spot to give it a try. Try for our dig our clams here. Yeah. What tells you that this is a good place to dig? Well, you see shells here, meaning there's there will be a load of clams and that. What about the tide? Is this is this an okay tide? It doesn't well, look too too far out. Yeah, it's tide's broken right now, but you probably can get a few clams. There's a shell that looks like an old one. Should I dig around there? Or just, yeah, is it just give, random to start? You can give it a try. And I just slide the rocks over. Dig around till we start popping out of the gravel there and the rock. Hey, hey. There he goes, one. That's it's as what, easy as that. Yeah, well, that's what you call a manila. A manila? Yes. I'm going to call him Sam. Okay. Sam Manila. <laughs> oh, look at this. Number two. Let's see the pro. Two. <laughs> oh, you're getting some foot action. Look at that, one yeah. scoop. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Holy moly, you struck gold. Sometimes you can find a bunch in one scoop. You can start to sift through it? Yeah. There we go. Is that an oyster? It's a clam. So how many would you usually get in the day if you're actually coming out to do some well, serious digging? We can make the average, like, two potato sacks, eh? That's a hard job, carrying them back home. If we get too much, then it's steamed and dried for, for the winter, winter so you months. Can, you yeah. can keep it? Yeah. Oh, I think you got another one. Yep. We got a good lunch here. Yeah. Should we go cook them up? Uh, not really. They're a closed off area right now. And so is this like a handful of poison I got right now? Uh, you probably survive if you ate those. <laughs> <silly. laughs> that probably is the only word I needed to hear. Yeah. Well, you know, I think we got a catch and release program yeah, okay. today. <laughs> Be free, clams. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to your clammy paradise. Yeah. Coming up, the best salmon I've ever tasted. You know, it does look like the strangest religious procession I've ever seen here. <laughs>
Do you have to clamp the top off somehow? Yeah, I got some string to tie it with. Oh, okay, I yeah, see. Like that, so. You know, it does look like the strangest religious procession I've ever seen here. <laughs> there. That looks like it's gonna take about six days. Put some more wood on there. And more wood. <laughs> Thick end down, or? Uh, Either way, put this under the skin side. So right there is fine, or any specific place? Anywhere. Should I wrap it around a few times? Yeah. Okay, and we want the fleshy part towards the fire, right? Yep. Okay, wait there and keep turning, Don. <laughs> How's this? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think, Dave? What uh, what time are we looking at for this? Oh. Come back in a couple days, check yeah, on Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out to the West Coast, one thing you always hear about is the potlatch. Potlatch. What was the potlatch? It's called the potlatch, but in our language, it's slation. Slation. Slation, that's you invite the people to come. They gather like, oh, maybe marriages or funerals or memorials. There was a lot of giving away to potlatch. Yes, there was. It still goes on today. Everybody gets uh, something to take home. Fruit, rice, sugar, bread, apples, oranges, bananas. Even the little kids get something to take home. Hey, Dave, I think we wait any longer. These fish are going to evolve. Can we uh, okay. try them? What do you think? Well, we'll give it a go. Just grab a stick here. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> you rigged them on me. OK, gentlemen, it's the taste test. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Good. Oh, that's good. That's the best salmon I've ever tasted. Right. <laughs> I cooked it. <laughs> I think your starvation has something to do with it, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. It's always the best. Don, it's time for your final challenge. Okay, I learned a lot. I think it's all still up there. I think I'm ready. We'll see if you're ready. You got clown digging. That was got a test for you, and then you got to get the paddle song. Oh, the paddle. Oh, man, that was so long ago, it That's seems. Okay. right. You have to get it right on. That sounds like a, a good full day, right? You, you'd gather some food, then the plants. That's like going to school, so you'd go to school, and then you'd end with a nice uh, entertainment, a little song. That's the paddle song. Can you dig it? I can dig it. I can dig clams. Go, I can dig the whole go, thing. Go, go, Don. I'm off. Oh, hey, Dave. Hi. So is this where I'm doing the clam digging? Well, give it a try here, and hopefully we can get some clams. OK, right down by the water. I got sure. five minutes, right? Five minutes to go, yep. OK. Come on, here, clam. Jeez. Well, <laughs> that's a shell. Come on, I see them everywhere. You know what? There's one. Why dig when you can just find them, huh? There's <laughs> another Got to get something on the shovel, though. It's a rock. Man, oh man, when pressure's on, I suck. <laughs> How am I doing, Dave? I got two yeah, clams, Dave, but not on the shovel. Put some muscle to it. <laughs> <laughs> they were leaping out of the water the other day. Unbelievable. You picked a bad spot, Dave. <laughs> time. Well, it's a deuce, but it's something. Okay, Dave. Okay. I'm not happy with this. I don't know the old <laughs> I got two clams. Okay. And a third one I found on the walk back okay, to sure. give them to you. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, not too bad. But... How, how was my technique? You were watching me. Well, they, it was pretty good. If you had to give me a score out of one to ten, what would you give me? Be honest. Maybe just a one. <laughs> one? That's not even, that's not even one point sure. per clam. Oh, yeah. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> You're a hard marker, Dave. <laughs> you know, it's the teacher sometimes, okay. too, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Della, what is my test? Find at least four plants and tell me about them. We went through at least 20 <laughs> at least yesterday. 20. I think this is it. I remember you told me about the sword fern, and I remember it was good for pain. But that's sword fern, right? That's sword okay, fern. that I remember. <laughs> Very oh, good. Here is what I noticed. Okay, oh, excellent. Now, if I recall, wild organ berries, you called them? Very good. Are wild they? organ grape. 
Wild Oregon grape, yeah, that's yeah. right, wild Oregon grape. Were they good for um, the liver and things like that? Yeah, they are a good cleanser. Yeah, I'm sure you're seeing lots of stuff. It's for me to... You're trying to bite my tongue here. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> I can really use a maple tree right now, Della, because I'm pretty depressed about not being able to find anything. Oh, okay, well, just tell, <laughs> well, tell me about the maple tree. You just go into a maple tree. You don't even have to pull it. That's what I like about it. You don't have to take it. You can just go in there. It'll pick up your mood. It'll give you some energy. You'll just feel happier. See, you already feel you already Just here. talking about <laughs> it. <laughs> just talking about it. That's great. Is this similar to the oh, uh, tree trunk we saw the other day? Very good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a tree that's been cut, but it's still growing. It still has its... It's life. And I remember we, we put our hands over it just to try to get some of that energy. Is this the same kind of thing? <clears throat> yes, it is. I need you to tell me and be honest, how did I do? You showed me so much. I tried to remember some of it. How did I do? You did very well. Oh, very thank well. you very well, much. Who? Sure. <laughs> I've been re-energized. You I brought need. my that confidence so cool. up. OK, see you, Don. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Good to see you, Jace. So we're almost done. That's One right. more thing in the final challenge. Okay, your final challenge is you have to sing the paddle song. You say it like I have a choice. <laughs> okay. Do or die, Don. Do or die. Oh, 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 Della there yeah. to finish things off. What was that? I, that's rock and roll, baby. Hey, that was, that's yeah. rock and roll. The kids want a little rock danger in their music. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Where was I off? The, the words were a little wrong. I would give you a five out of ten. Ooh, so kind of <laughs> skating. Yeah, skating yeah. On, I the was... on the overall final challenge. That song just squeaked you by with a pass. No way. Yeah, so I got that's a pass. right. It's all right. It's yeah. not bad. I'll yeah. take the pass. <laughs> now, I got to ask you you've seen me the last few days. I know you've tried your hardest to teach me. If I were a member of the Psychum people, what name would you give me? They would call you Rock. Rock, rock as in fish. I'm like, I'm a strong, strong guy? As in Rock Cod, fish out of water. Rock Cod. <laughs> are Rock Cod strong fish? That's, they are. Okay, well, that's not bad. <laughs> very edible, very clubbable. Jason, you have been a great teacher. You were hard on me, which is, hey, sometimes that's important to teach. Yeah. I want to thank you for all the stuff you've shown me and taught me and the people that you've introduced me to. It's I'll been a, it's been a blast. It thank you. Thank you, Jason. All right. Cities are about changing the environment to suit us. The Coast Salish believe we should live our lives to suit the environment. We get our food from it, our medicine, and meeting someone like Della teaches me that we can even get our songs from the environment. I never thought of that. And that's a lesson I'll take with me on my journey through life. Okay, another fish out of water in the can. Ouch. Oh, oh, hey, I can't believe you're still alive. Yeah, my friends buried me kind of high on shore. Well, that's kind of lucky, huh? Not really. I had to hold my nose up for a whole eight hours during high tide. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're a mouth breather, huh? Oh, yes, I am. Always have been. Okay, well, hey, look, uh, I got to get going, but best of luck with all this, huh? Yeah, you have a good one, too. And by the way, I liked your show when you fell off the horse. I like it when you get hurt. <laughs>